So we've been able to assemble the largest army possible without maxing out your mercenaries. We've got six regiments of militia, four archers, and two spears. And then I was able to snag a couple mercenaries. And then the front line is our heavily armored knights. These guys are the retinue. We have seven groups. So this army is almost 500 units strong. And these guys are extremely powerful. So the enemy doesn't really stand much of a chance. The enemy is coming in with about 450. So it's very close. Almost a thousand unit battle. This is about as big as it gets. So let's get right to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and move up into a nice defensive position. I'm going to skew to the left. My assumption is they're going to flank somewhere. So let's get these guys lined up. I'm going to keep the spears in reserve because they always try to flank. So we need to have some kind of protection there. This is a nice little hill. We've got some downward slope, sloping terrain right here. That should help us with our archers on the hill. So we can see right here, they're splitting their group up. They're splitting their forces off. They've got two flanks, a couple guys going straight down the middle. They've got one archer on the left and two on the right. I'm kind of debating, maybe we just keep four archers on the right. We'll split off two to the left so we can counter them. Let's get our spears in position as well. And I'm pretty sure they're going to try and flank. So let's throw them. They're pushing pretty hard right here in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to consolidate a little bit tighter. Yeah, I'm okay if these guys get around our flank. That's not really a concern. All right, this is where things get pretty nasty. I'm going to go cinematic mode here after we give our commands. So we're going to smash these guys into them. Actually, no, you know what we should probably do is we need to attack the retinue. These stars are their retinue. They're very strong and they have more than we do, actually. So let's just get everybody to square off with one unit. These guys can hold tight and reserve here. We'll get the spears. Actually, where are they going? Let's get our spears lined up with them as well so we can get a nice defensive position. And again, the archers can hang out here on the flank. We should be able to destroy that guy 2v1. And then our archers are over here. Let's get this spearmen to protect a little bit further out if we can get them to shoot at our spearmen these guys are pretty well armored against archers they have eight protection against arrows you can see these archers they have they got two armor total but zero against archers all right here we go let's see what this charge looks like oh man it's such a big battle the, the only problem with oh here comes it <laughs> right in the flank the only problem with cinematic mode is you can't tell who's who I guess if we switch the coloring on our units uh, to be a more distinct, it probably would have been better, but I did not. So I, what I'm thinking about doing is let's maybe flank these guys behind them. These brigands are pretty weak. They've got one shield against archers, so four volleys, and I don't think they're going to really stand much of a chance here. So let's get them grouped up. We're going to have our guys go into... Uh, running mode so they can handle it they can move around a little bit faster and i think we just wait patiently here these guys are they which way are they going actually no they're going into the middle so what we need to do is we need to join them we don't want to get completely outnumbered and i'm going to have these guys follow up behind just to make sure that they don't re-emerge somewhere else and then we're going to send these archers right into the enemy all right now we can start getting shots so if you click on your archer you can see there's like a little blue sphere so you can see the edge of your archers so these two are in range. These these guys are not quite in range. So I'm going to drop them a little bit farther forward. Same thing with these. They need to catch up a bit. So let's unpause here. We're going to get a good look at this. So let's see what they look like when they're shooting. Oh, look at that. And then what we're going to do, let's go forward and see how nasty this looks. So this is from their perspective, about to get blasted by these arrows. Oh, man, we tagged a couple of them. And another volley. Oh, man, they're taking hits. They're not going down yet. Yeah, they're we're at the max range, so it doesn't do as much damage. If they get a tiny bit closer... Oh, there's one down. If they get a tiny bit closer, they just get completely smashed. And good thing we moved our spears up. They're going to catch these guys in the flank, actually. So what that means is we need to focus on their archers instead. Are we in range? We're just about in range. Oh, these guys are definitely in range. All four of these are in range. So we'll take a look at that when that happens. These guys are actually skirmishing with them already. That's really good. They are at range. It's going to be hard to see anything in the trees. They do a pretty good job cutting away the trees when you get close enough. But again, if you're trying to see a nice tight battle like this, 
It's going to be kind of hard to see with the trees in the way, but we'll, let's look at a volley and then we'll see what the other side looks like. Yeah, like I said, it's it's kind of hard to see anything, but this over here is going to be a bloodbath. So we're just going to focus all of our attention on one unit. One, two, three, four, they're all on him. And again, let's see that volley. All right, first was not too impressive, and the AI seems to be trying to dodge our arrows. I don't know what they're doing. All right, we're getting charged. That's their final group of retinue. Let's get in there. We save these guys for reserve. We can come in from behind and then flank them. Did we? Oh, we smashed these guys already. Look at that. They're running. Yeah, they're they're fleeing. So I don't know how many they had left in their, their group, but they just got completely destroyed. So what we'll do is let's sprint our... We'll turn our archers on to sprint. Let's get them back here in the flank. We need to get a pretty close distance, though. The enemy has a lot of armored units, and so our arrows don't really pierce unless we're in a close enough distance. But when we are close enough, it, it just completely shreds. So we need to get a little closer on these archers as well. So let's pull them up. And then again, let's kind of take stock of how our, our fight appears doing. We've lost a couple retinue. These guys are supposed to have 24. I see a couple with 23 and 21. But overall, I think they're doing pretty well. They're hanging in there. And these retinue are going to come in and flank. There they go. Let's get our let's get our spears double timing. All right, now our archers in range. This is going to be devastating for them. Yeah, here it comes. Wow, that's so many arrows. Yep, they're dying. They're actually losing a lot. All right, come on, get another volley off, boys. Yeah, that's a good volley right there. We're we're picking them off pretty hard. I don't think they're taking too many of ours. We don't have very heavily armored archers either, but we do have some of the mercenaries. The mercenary ones have some decent armor. All right, let's check and see how the rest of our battle's doing. Yeah, we lost a lot over on this side, unfortunately. Oh, here comes the reinforcements. So we've completely surrounded them. Let's get into the back of these retinue, because these are the strongest ones. We need to make sure that they go down first. And then curl around with the rest of our spears. And let's see how devastating our archers are against theirs. I'm going to leave the... Yeah, I'm going to leave the HUD on, the info, so we can see how many numbers are getting dropped. We're taking losses over here. We got 32 out of 36, so we did lose 4 already. Wow, they went down to 26 on one volley. 17, 13, yeah, they got destroyed. They absolutely got destroyed here. I think one more volley will send them packing. No, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Alright, let's have these two chase... And I'll have these two chase that. These guys are getting rolled up. Oh, wow. Look at this. So they're they're actually on their last two units. One unit? It's just the retinue. They have only retinue left. So we're going to charge everybody in. And we're going to put them on push forward so they actually shove their way through. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and see if we can get some of the action. Yeah, there you go. Charge. They're surrounded. They actually don't have anywhere to retreat to either. They're going to get smashed here. Oh, they broke. Yeah, they couldn't handle it. So they get a pretty big morale debuff when you're getting hit from multiple sides. And these guys are trying to get shots off on us, but yeah, we just made quick work of them. So they have two left. Nope, one left. And the final one just got shot in the throat. I think that's it. There's like nothing left. So you can see this is what's left on the battlefield. There's just bodies everywhere. And if we were to build a, a settlement here, we would have to clean up all these bodies or our people would be pissed off and leave. Pretty realistic. I really love how this game looks. Both on the battlefield, the simulation part, the city management, everything. Such a good game. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.